God's love makes everything possible. Deep inside God's heart, the immense pressure of that love fuses atoms into denser elements. Eventually, God will grow huge and explode, scattering these new atoms throughout the cosmos. And it's only because previous gods exploded that the elements necessary for life are available on Earth. Oh, hi, a long time ago, things were going great. There was no death or disease. We just stole on fire from the gods and we were really getting down to burning things. The gods saw this and decided that this new technology gave us too much power. We were playing God and had to be punished, so they made the first woman. Now, the earliest known version of this story stops here. I'm not making this up. The Greeks must have realised this was too old school, even for 1000 BC. So, in later versions, the first woman, Pandora, was given a mysterious box and told, don't open it. She opened it. Inside were all the evils of the world which went off to afflict humanity, but Pandora managed to close the box, shutting the last of the things inside. Now, this is an old story. There are lots of different versions. In one version, the thing that Pandora trapped was hope. Hope said, Let me out. I'll make life bearable, even though bad things happen. I don't really like this version of the story. I mean, why would hope be hanging out in a box full of evil? It doesn't make any sense. The version I like is where the final evil, the one Pandora managed to trap, is foresight. It ends in divorce. By trapping it, she saved the human race because foresight would have destroyed us. If we knew what terrible things were coming for us in life, hope would be impossible and we'd despair and die. It's kind of a bleak worldview, but I like the idea that ignorance and overconfidence might be useful survival traits, that perhaps the unfiltered truth is harmful to humans. This isn't humans' fault. I blame the truth. Not because the truth is terrible or unbearable, but because more often than not, the truth is a little bit shit. Take the light bulb, for instance. Who invented that? Thomas Edison. That's not the truth. He made a good one, but it was invented by about 20 different people over about 100 years. In 1802, some guy ran a current through metal to make light. In 1840, someone else put it in a vacuum bulb and so on. The truth is complicated, fiddly, and not really worth it. And this, I believe, is typical of truth. By its nature, truth is often a bit shit, and the human brain has evolved to work around that. So who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. It's not true, but it's the kind of oversimplification that's useful to the human mind. Or, to put it another way, while you were contemplating the specific nature of the universe, I was in your hut eating your children. I'm not proud of myself, but you're out of the gene pool. So, when searching for the truth, ask yourself, is the answer that I've found shit enough? If so, it may well be true. Not always. Sometimes the truth is very simple, just to be shitty. Deep inside the oven, something incredible is happening. The batter DNA is breaking up and reforming as muffin DNA. The tasty baked treats are evolving before our eyes. It's already too late to save the environment. Nah, that could easily not be true. 